Hi and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I'm Steve and in this video we're going to learn how to straighten when you crop. How to use the crop straighten tool. It's not very often that you're going to use this tool but when you need it, it is awesome. So without further ado, let's dive into an example. This is a really obvious example. When you look at this image, you can see that it's just a little off. The drone was blowing in the wind or whatever and so our road is not straight. And you could play with rotating it and stuff like that, or you could just use the crop straighten tool and knock it out in just one minute. So the first thing you have to do is go to your crop tool. So you hit the letter C on your keyboard. That starts up your crop tool. And then you go up to this little friend right here, straighten. And all you do is click this little icon and nothing really happens immediately, but then you go down here and you'll notice that you have this little plus sign with the little, I don't even know what that image is. Kind of looks like a soccer field to me, but if you know what that is, you can give me crap in the comments of this video. But anyway, you take your little plus sign and you click, you could click within the image, but you can also start way outside the image, which I like to do because the longer your line is, the easier it is to visually line up. And I'll probably just go with one of these tire tracks, right? So I'm going to click up here, and then I'm going to drag down, and I'm just going to drag all the way across the image, and then I'm just going to move back and forth until I see that it's lined up with one of those tire tracks as accurately as I can get it, and then I'm going to release. And you notice that wherever I drew that line, Photoshop is saying, okay, so that's what you want to be straight. So it snapped that straight and it did crop in a little bit, which is not the end of the world. We could actually crop out a little bit too if we wanted. So bring it back out. And we're gonna wanna center this too, just because of the nature of this composition. So then I'll take this side in a little bit and I'm, I'm just kinda eyeballing the the grids of thirds here to get that in the middle. You could also go with a different grid actually if you wanted to. Let's find one that is... You could even do that and you can count your grids to make sure that this line lines up right in the dead center if you wanted to get super technical. I'm not getting technical for this purpose but you can see that that's pretty centered. And then you go ahead and click OK. And now you have a beautifully centered, beautifully straight composition. And I'll just do a little Control-Z so you can see the before. Right, that's quite a difference. And if I pop into my history panel and go back to the final version, centered, straight, and beautiful. Okay, let me show you one other example real quick just for the fun of it. Let's go into this guy right here kind of funky picture of this really awesome turquoise tiles and all these windows in this apartment building. But if you look at it closely, you'll notice that these bricks are kind of cruising to up and to the right, diagonal. And maybe that's not what we're looking for. There are a couple of ways you could probably arrange this, but I think the best would be to have these bricks be perfectly level. So. We're going to use our straighten tool to do that. And I'm going to use one other tool as well so that I can really visualize where this needs to be, and that's our rulers. And to turn on your rulers, you hit Control R, and on a Mac that would be Command R, and you notice it brings up these little rulers on the sides, and these can be really helpful. And most importantly, what I want to do is I'm going to take a guide. I'm going to go left click on the ruler, and you notice my tool changes. And now I've got this little line that I'm pulling down into my image. And I'm going to use this window right down here because it's the most obvious. And if I take that guide and I set it right in the middle of the black and release it, it gives me this nice turquoise line. Yours might be a different color. You can go in and change these in your settings. But I've got this nice line and you can really see how crooked this, the top of this window is and how crooked these bricks or tiles or whatever they are. Probably bricks, right? Okay, so that just tells me visually how crooked it is, and now we can use the Straighten tool to fix it. So we're already on our Crop tool. We're gonna go click the Straighten tool. Now that's giving me that little soccer field or whatever it is. And then I can go down here, 
And I don't have to use this guide at this point. In fact, I can get rid of that. That was just to show me how crooked it is, right? So I'm gonna get, let's go ahead and get rid of that, make it simple. That was a tangent, by the way. But I'm gonna click probably way over here, and then I'm gonna drag across this line so I can visually line it up as best as possible. So I'm gonna click here and drag across this line and then when you drop down and like I say the further you go out the more the more subtle you can be and the more accurate you can be if I'm right in here then every little movement is like sometimes too much but if I'm way over here then a big movement only moves it a little bit so I can line it up with the top of that window just get it perfect and then when I release it's gonna shift it over I'll go ahead and click that to confirm that and now we can grab a guide and pull it down we should be able to hold it over some of these bricks and yeah wherever we line that up with our bricks there's actually a little bit of lens curve here but at least I'll grab another guide too and drop it right under the top of this at least you can see now that the the tops of these windows are lined up and again this one's a little curved but the center of our composition now is lined up straight okay and again I'll let me get rid of these guides so they're not distracting you and I will grab my little history panel over here and we can I can toggle back and forth that guy you see it you feel like you're tilting to the left and this guy a little more straight and even. If I was gonna really get serious, I'd probably come in and crop the side of this in just a little bit for composition purposes and do something like that. So there you go, that's how you use the crop straighten tool. Kind of an obscure one, but good to know just for those rare instances where you need to straighten up a building. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this or learned something from it, click like. If you want to learn more and watch more videos, subscribe to this channel. And of course, check out the links in the description for all kinds of goodies and courses and other things that I would love to teach you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.